of course, once uh, the vegetative stage, uh, stage ends, uh, the leaves are now big, and now they go to what we call now the maturation stage. And of course, the maturation stage or the maturity stage, uh, the maturity stage we are looking at uh, from the 30 days uh, to 40 days. So another 10 days is uh, now the maturity stage. And here we are looking at uh, the spinach crop has grown the leaves to the maximum. And uh, you find that uh, uh, the leaves are no longer growing. And what now they are doing is uh, they are consolidating and also hardening up, hardening up or hardening. And uh, in the hardening, you are going to see maybe they are going to get some wrinkles. And they are not, not, not going to be very smooth. They may find some wrinkles. But uh, this is a stage where if you compare the, the leaf in the vegetative stage and the maturity stage, you're going to find the, the one here, they are actually very tough. Uh, and and uh, the outer cover uh, quite hard. Um, uh, not very hard, but uh, just uh, a bit more harder than uh, not very succulent. Uh, therefore, that is the maturation stage. So the maturation stage, still the aspect here to look at still is nutrition. We're also going to look at uh, pests. We look at diseases. We look at watering. And also we look at weeding. And when you are looking at nutrition, still uh, you have given nitrogenous fertilizer in the other, in the other stages. Now in this stage, uh, what is required is uh, an NPK or a, a compound fertilizer. It is not uh, the starting stage head P, the vegetative stage head N. And of course, uh, uh, since K is for, uh, mainly for the flowers, now this stage we require a combination of all of them. And therefore, an NPK, for example, a fertilizer with a triple 19, uh, triple 19 or triple 17 is desirable. Once the soil test was done and uh, it established what is deficient in the soil, then uh, it will be able to give uh, the amount to, to put per acre. And therefore, this should be the base of fertilizer, the one you do the top dressing. And uh, on the leaves, that is a, a foliar fertilizer. You can also do an NPK foliar fertilizer with 24. 24, 18, for instance. We also have other ratios. 24, 24, 18 plus micronutrients. And uh, the micronutrients are important because of uh, still hardening up of the, of the spinach crop. And also, uh, they are going to assist with the quality of the spinach crop. So that should be done. When you are looking at uh, the pest control, the same pest, we are talking about the starting stage and the vegetative stage, are the same one that usually applies here and the same management aspect as explained should be applied. Uh, when you go to the diseases, similar diseases, we have said in the starting stage and the vegetative stage, are seen going to apply here. And uh, once they apply, uh, once they, uh, uh, this aspect is seen, similar management aspect as explained earlier in the earlier stages should also be applied. Of course, we have the watering aspect. Since the, uh, the plant is still growing, uh, even if maybe the outer leaves are hardening up, we have the, small, the, the inner leaves that are also uh, growing. Because uh, once we have the spinach crop, uh, those are the roots. Then we have the stem. Then we have the leaves. So we find that uh, we have the, uh, some of the inner leaves. The outer leaves are the ones that are maturing up, but the inner leaves are still growing. And therefore, the watering should also be done twice a week irrigation. If the rain is uh, sufficient, then, uh, the rain to uh, then uh, no need for irrigation. And of course, we, in terms of the weeding, it also depends on uh, how the weeds are. After the first weeding that was done, uh, weeding in this stage may not be necessary after doing the weeding during the vegetative stage. But of course, uh, if maybe the weeds, uh, uh, if they are growing fast and there is need for uh, weeding, uh, removal of the weeds, then that should be done. We are now here at the, the maturity stage. And uh, the maturity stage is also uh, goes uh, hand in hand with the harvest stage. Maturity stage starts from the 28th day to the 35th day. And uh, at that stage, you will find that uh, uh, the leaves 
of the spinach, they become a bit wrinkled and they become a bit hard. As you could have seen uh, the vegetative stage, the plant is usually, the leaves are usually very soft, uh, but here the plant are usually large and also uh, a bit hard, hardened, because that is the uh, quality that is demanded at the, uh, at the market. Because once, uh, if you harvest when it is a bit young and it's not uh, very hard, you find that uh, it gets bad quickly. The shelf life is very, uh, is, uh, very short. But once it is a bit hard, it is able to stay longer in the market because the rotting bacteria will not be able to penetrate uh, very easily. So that is uh, to, uh, to the 35th stage. And then uh, now after the 35th stage, uh, you start harvesting. That is uh, in under a month, maybe a month and one week, um, you start harvesting. Some can start harvesting maybe when it is 40, uh, 40 days. That is a month like, and 10 days. So at that stage, uh, that's when you start harvesting. And uh, the maturity stage, as you can be able to, uh, to be able to see, the maturity stage sometimes is also affected by, is affected uh, by diseases. It is affected by pests. And also you can be able to see also we have uh, weeds. So it is important you do the weeding so that uh, you can be able to help the plant uh, uh, to be able to fight uh, the weeds uh, which compete for water and the nutrients. We also have uh, insects uh, that attack this crop. And of course, one of the insects is a bollworm that we had uh, talked about in the initial stages. Uh, and uh, you can be able to see this leaf. You can see these holes. These holes is the bollworm that has uh, have attacked. And therefore, it will be important to control the bollworms. If you don't control the, these insects, then it becomes a challenge because it's going to affect, or they are going to multiply and they are going to affect the, the, the leaves more. And if they, it's affected this way, then this is not market quality. And even if it is uh, harvested, because of these holes, it is going to fetch low prices or even the shelf life will be very short. Therefore, it is very important to consider uh, that insect and uh, a good insecticide that I usually control that uh, those insects is uh, an insecticide with active ingredient lambda cyhalothrin or even uh, delta methrin. Of course, the other disease is uh, leaf miners, and uh, leaf miners usually affect uh, the leaf. If you see this kind of the leaf, you are going to see the underside of the leaf have lines, small lines, and maybe the lines could be bigger depending on uh, how it is uh, affected. And now the challenge is uh, when you have such a leaf that is affected by leaf miners, um, it has very short shelf life because those holes or those lines that have been affected by the leaf miner, once you take to the market, uh, or you, uh, once you take to, to the market, it is going to start rotting and the shelf life will be very very short and therefore after the, the leaves uh, rot uh, without selling that will be a loss and therefore it is very important to control the leaf miners uh, because of that aspect and the leaf miner you can use a product with active ingredient abamectin or you can be able to use a product with active ingredient emamectin benzoate so the other important aspect to consider uh, or to put in place is uh, uh, disease control and uh, the diseases that usually attack this crop at this stage is uh, leaf spot. Uh, from the leaves you can be able to see this leaf. This is actually very much affected. You can be able to see from the underside of the leaf we have brown spots. When you look at the upper side of the leaf you can be able to see still we have uh, the leaf spot. So such leaf this is a loss because uh, such leaf cannot be sold, cannot be sold in the market because already the greener part, you, you see uh, spinach is usually marketed as a green, as a green leaf. But you can be able to see this is just brownish. So meaning this cannot be consumed in the market. And therefore this is already a loss. And therefore this is uh, one of the key diseases that uh, you should be able to protect when you are doing the when you are growing the spinach because once you have 
such a disease, you are going to experience a lot of losses. And therefore, uh, at this stage, it is very important when you are doing the routine spray after one week or after 14 days, it is very important to consider controlling disease and uh, active ingredients such as thiophanate methyl, hexaconazole, diphenoconazole, and even azopistrobin. Such active ingredients are very important in order to control this disease. And also we have uh, some other diseases that uh, usually affect this crop, and uh, that is the leaf blight. As you can be able to see this uh, crop, you can be able to see uh, here is green and this margin has been affected. And this is what we call the leaf blight. And this is usually occurs when uh, we have incidences of rain, when maybe it is raining. When it is raining, that's when the disease usually strike. And therefore, when you get such aspects, then uh, we have uh, an active ingredient we call cymoxanil that control this aspect very well. And of course, when it is raining, it is recommended you use a sticker. A sticker is basically uh, a product or a, um, a, a, an oil that is usually mixed in the in the in the pump uh, containing the product, and uh, it is going to stick on the leaves. So once it sticks on the leaf, the chemical that you are using, if it is thiophanate methyl, is going to uh, to act very well because uh, if maybe it is it rains, once you spray it rains that chemical may be washed by rains, by the rain. And therefore it is important to have such a sticker when you are doing, uh, you are doing the crop, uh, you are doing the spray. And of course the other aspect is the nutrition. And at this stage, nutrition is very important. And uh, one aspect of nutrition uh, here, you are going to alternate. You alternate uh, a foliar fertilizer um, that is rich in uh, nitrogen because uh, the leaves are the ones that you are going to sell. And uh, the other aspect is also a foliar feed that has calcium because calcium is a nutrient or, or it is uh, uh, the product that uh, usually makes the leaf to harden. And therefore when you are doing the nitrogen, you can be able to mix with the calcium. So you mix a, a calcium in one spray, you can be able to do a nitrogen, a foliar feed that has a nitrogen, we call them vegetative fertilizer, you mix with the calcium. And then during the other spray, you can do an NPK. An NPK is what we call, uh, an NPK is a foliar feed that has uh, uh, the nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium in equal proportion. And uh, such a foliar fertilizer, an example of it is uh, a foliar fertilizer with 24, 24, 18 and also including micronutrients. So if you are able to do such a foliar feed, you do a foliar feed that has a, a vegetative plus calcium, and then the other spray, you do a foliar fertilizer that has 24, 24, 18 plus micronutrients, is going to manage this crop very well, very well. This is a typical spinach crop. You can see we have the leaves, and then we have the stem. In this stage, you have the stem, and then we have the roots. And therefore, when the roots are growing, uh, during the vegetative stage, it usually feeds into this stem. Initially, uh, the leaves are usually on the ground, and then it forms this stem. So this stem is usually uh, the food storage part. So once it is fed, and uh, the storage part releases the food, once it gets the nutrient, it releases the food, and uh, I mean, it takes the water from the, from the ground to the stem and then to the leaves. And then now the leaves are going to produce the food and then take it down to the stem for storage and also the other food for expansion. And therefore, this part is important, especially during the early, early stages, because once this part is uh, big enough, it will have good food reserve to keep this spinach going. Because uh, spinach can, uh, you can, can, be able to have, uh, can be harvested every week or maybe after two weeks uh, for even a period of even a, a whole year, uh, depending on uh, how you manage it. And therefore, spinach is a crop that can be able to produce for you and also to give you good income.